going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds today we're back at copart here in oklahoma city for another walk around let's jump into this video today and see what we find are you guys ready for this i am because as i've mentioned in previous videos i am on the hunt for a vehicle for my son nick he is uh turning 16 by the time this video is out he's already going to be 16 because for me he turns 16 tomorrow and my videos are always delayed by a little bit i get a lot of people that are kind of upset that my videos do not come out right when i make them and i thought maybe this would be a good opportunity to explain that to you real quick um, something i learned when i had to go to the hospital uh i had an unexpected aren't, aren't all surgeries unexpected i don't think most of us uh expect that we're going to need surgery but when my gallbladder failed i ended up with an infection this is smashed in the back so that's not that's but it's real bad <laughs> um it made me realize something pretty quickly i was going to be out of commission for weeks the doctor said it could be a month before i had enough strength in my stomach not from the gallbladder surgery but after they got in there to remove my gallbladder they found that I had a umbilical hernia and they had to repair that before they could do the gallbladder surgery so let's just say it sucked it was it was horribly painful all of it um and I realized something pretty quickly and that was if I don't have a week or two of content up on the channel ready to go I have one of these this is the this is the 320 328 it's a 328i um i actually kind of like this sorry guys sidetracked sidetracked uh, but it made me realize that without a backlog of videos like videos that are ready to go for a week or two ahead of time um if something happens to me not I, not only do you guys not have anything to watch on my channel but that that's not <laughs> that's not the most important thing the most important thing is i don't get paid if people aren't watching new content that's coming out on the channel I don't get paid, which means while I'm sitting up in a hospital and I'm out of commission for a month, there would be no videos and I wouldn't make any money. And it doesn't take long before, you know, you run out of savings and you could be in real big trouble, especially with the kind of medical bills that I was getting from the, uh, the emergency room, the doctor's office. The, it's, it's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So because of that, that is why we currently have videos that are between one and two weeks out if you see a video like today's video this is probably going to come out between one and two weeks after i filmed the video and some people get upset about that some people are not happy about it and to those of you that feel that way i'm terribly sorry but i hope you understand that it's kind of it's kind of a cushion in case an emergency arises, not just for me, but a family emergency, anything that would require me being away, including on rare occasions, I do take a vacation. I take my family and we go somewhere for a week, maybe two. Well, with the backlog of videos up, I can do that. We could actually afford to take a vacation and still have videos coming out. So I know that that was kind of long-winded, uh, sorry about that, but a lot of you have expressed displeasure in the videos being old. So hopefully you guys can understand, and if not, well, I'm sorry. But there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not seeing anything yet that I am interested in. Oh, wow. I, I would love the TT, uh, but it's got A pillar damage, B pillar damage. It's That's in bad shape. That's in real bad shape. Civic crunched a little bit not really interested in that either the last thing i want for nick honestly is a civic I, I know they're great cars reliable cars i don't want him getting in with that crowd man i don't want him coming home with a fart can on the back and some fear this stickers on the front and uh and rev it nah, please save it we don't we don't want none of that so uh let's just walk through and see what we can find another elanta i'm telling you if i could find wrecked of course that one's wrecked too in the back this one's wrecked in the front i love hyundai's and i love kia's i absolutely do uh this one not really the color i would pick for nick bmw it looks nice but it's wrecked in the back too we're also getting into the swamp out here as well so let's just keep keep walking and again civics and ultimas probably not maybe i would consider you guys are gonna laugh maybe i would consider a dodge dart 
Uh, probably not though, probably not. I'm looking for something that's gonna be reliable, that's easy on maintenance, that's not too expensive, because as I said, it's gonna be his first car. And as you know, you know, first time drivers, things can, uh, things can get a little crazy. And if that happens, I want him to be safe. I want him to be able to walk away and be okay. And that's, that's obviously top priority as he learns how to drive. And even though he's got his permit and here in a few months, he'll have his license. Of course it's wrecked. Of course you're wrecked. I should have known. I should have known the minute I saw it, I should have known. Um, it takes years, you know, to build up enough driving experience to really have the hang of it. And even then not everybody gets it. So we'll see another Elanta. Boy, this is like Elantra Alley out here. And this one doesn't look too bad. The color's good. Body looks, yeah, that's fixable easily. Plus I can make them work. Needs a wheel, fender, bumper, headlight, windshield. Okay, we're <laughs> starting to, the more I'm looking, the more I'm like, okay, uh, this would have to go really cheap. This is not too bad. Not too bad. It's even got good tires, matching Firestone tires as well. So this was this is a car somebody cared about. It's got Sirius XM. Ooh. Well, that's disgusting. Yeah, looks like somebody just shit all over the seats. Um, thankfully, it doesn't smell too awful. It's, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. A good cleaning would go a long way with this car. You got Bluetooth, hands-free calling, Sirius satellite radio. Why is it in neutral? That's okay. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't smell too bad. Oh, that's uh yeah, that's nice. She's got miles on her, is my guess. The key is left on. Oh, it's stuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm starting to have bad feelings about this one. I started out thinking this would actually be a great little car. Easy to fix, cheap, easy to work on. I think Nick would enjoy it. Oh no, she's been parked, guys. This thing had been parked. Look at all the dead vegetation. Every, it's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. This thing has been parked. So what do you think? Does it run? I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna say, hey, nope, probably not. But you know what we're gonna do? Oh hell, that's not even, that's not even tight. We're gonna throw a jump on it. We're gonna find out if it'll do anything. What do you guys think? Does it run? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say no. No, I don't think, I don't think this runs. But I'm willing to give her a shot. 124,000 miles, that's it? Oh, poor car. Well, it, it runs, but it doesn't. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try air conditioning. Let's find out if that works. We'll try the radio. Radio works. Steering. Oh. Something. Something is very... It goes forwards, it goes backwards. There is something, something is definitely wrong with, with the suspension. Air conditioning, we're gonna let it run for a minute. Important window, works. Less important window, works. Let's get out and take a look at these front wheels because the amount of clicking, clacking, and clunking is very concerning. That wheel is turned towards the driver's side. That wheel is also turned, but I'm, I'm thinking there's got to be some kind of suspension damage down there, guy. There, there, there's something going on with this. The whole front end is just clickety-clack. Alternator's charging. We can turn this off. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This does not seem like the best car out of all the cars that we've looked at in the last several videos. This, uh, yeah, this, this, on the air conditioning does not work.
we're gonna walk away. Oh wow, look at that. Nah. Walking away from this one, guys. Kinda had high hopes for because something like this, this is gonna go cheap. All right, what else we got? Mazda, no, Grand Marquis. That's actually not too bad. And it's gonna be wrecked in the back, isn't it? This doesn't look too bad. Needs a front clip. I mean, the fenders are good. The hood's got a little bit of damage. Bumper, headlights, grill, all that good stuff. But, oh, this is an Ultimate Edition too. Hold on, I, I just, I gotta look at it because the front clip is not a big deal on one of these. Uh, it took a little bump in the back. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. There's all the broken pieces. What do we got in here? I mean, it's got nice tinted windows, too. Nice wood grain. Beautiful, beautiful interior. These are great cars. If you don't mind driving around looking like a, a grandma or a grandpa, um, these are great cars. And I'll be the first one to tell you I don't mind at all looking like a grandma or a grandpa driving down the road. Dead as a doornail. Hood's probably already, already open. Let's turn off that radio. Does it show the mileage? I don't see the mileage anywhere. The odometer does not appear to be working. That's okay. I'm interested in this car. The tires are Jikri J K T Y Jik Jik tire Jik tier Jik tire. I have no idea. U X Royal. Yeah, I'll be honest. With you, I've never heard of that. So. Uh, hey, I'm not knocking the tires, man. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. As long as it's got good tires. As long as we've got tires with tread, that's all I care about. And they match all four. They got good tread. This was a pretty good looking car, guys. And it wouldn't take that much to make it a good looking car again. It's funny because the battery's dead. And look at, oh, uh, it stopped. The air compressor for the rear end sits underneath the intake box and it's just sitting there vibrating like crazy, trying its dangest man to pump up the back end. I think it did it. It did, it did, even on a dead battery. She still she still pumped up that back end. Um, this is, this is disgusting. I almost hate putting my jump pack onto that corrosion, but well, it is what it is. And there we go. Let's give her a quick boost. I'll bet she fires right up. I'll bet this thing runs great. I'd love to see an instrument cluster though with a mileage. Yeah, I knew she'd run. Oh, no way. No way, 44,000 miles. Is that it? 44,636 miles. Outside temp, 100 degrees. Max air conditioning, yes please. We'll turn it all the way down and we'll sit back in, a, in this nice tinted interior. This is nice. Real nice. Uh, should have cup holders, I think. Oh, 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 look at this. We also have a... It works. The key fob is in there. That's nice. And we have some BG hats. All right. 44,000 miles. You got heated seats with different levels. Power seats, of course. Important window works. Less important window works. Return mileage, five of 24 and 47,000 miles. Obviously no bags deployed. And uh, I think obviously um, this car is in exceptional condition. It needs, a, it needs a hood, grill, bumper, headlights. Uh, and, I think, and I think that's it. Brakes feel great. I already know, I mean, 40,000 miles on, yes. Forward. Uh, let's see here. Backwards. Yeah. And the trunk. We'll open that. Oh, the AC feels so nice. Guys, give me like two minutes. Let me just sit here and soak up this air conditioning. Because it is crazy hot outside today. All right. As much as I'm enjoying this air conditioning and the radio. The radio in this thing is phenomenal. The air conditioning is phenomenal. 
I got to get out. We got more cars to look at. Uh, and I wanted to check the trunk in this real quick as well. I am, I am very interested in this car, primarily because of how low the mileage is on it. Let's see what's going on back here. Spare tire, of course. Probably never been on the ground before. Huge trunk. Uh, like I said, took a bump in the back, so you're going to need these lights, lights, lights. The back bumper took a little damage. I don't know if you really care about it. You could replace the bumper, I suppose. I don't know that I would care enough to be all that concerned about it. So, this looks nice. I guarantee this thing drives like a dream. You could drive it home. I mean, you'd need to, you know, stick your headlights back up here and, and everything. But, yeah, you could, uh... You could drive this thing home. Damn, it's a shame about the bumper. <laughs> if you could just patch it up, you know what I mean? If you could just patch this up like this, put it back together, you could, you could absolutely save that bumper. You could absolutely save the bumper and all you need is this little header panel right here. Either way, there's not a lot that requires fixing on it. With 40,000 miles, this is absolutely worth putting some money into. All right, let's see what else we got, guys. Another Acura TL. I've already looked at one that I kind of liked in silver. I think Nick would like it. This one's wrecked in the front, so I'm not all that interested in this one. Oh, no. No, no, no. We can scratch that one. A little Chrysler 200? I don't know. Maybe. No. I'm not going to do them like that, guys. I like this Honda, though. Let's move over here. Let's see what else we got, because we're, we're running out, guys. We're getting down to the last row of cars, and, uh, and then we're going to get out of here. Chevy Impala, an old Suburban. I actually kind of like the Suburban over here. Why don't we take a quick peek at it? That's actually kind of clean. It needs paint. Clear coat, burn through, and all of that good stuff on it. But this is a, uh, it's an insurance car. It is a 99 Tahoe. I called it a Suburban. My bad. Let's take a look at it and see why it's here. It's a two-door, man. This is, these are worth some money, guys. Uh, it says insurance. Other than some paint damage, I don't really see anything that wrong with it. Needs a set of tires. It's an LT trim. It's probably going to have the leather interior. you got dual exhaust running out the back. Cracked windshield. This is nice. A uh, little bit of damage here. I mean, it needs a paint job anyway. Oh, even the interior's good. These never have good interiors, guys. Oh, you know why? It's only got 73,000 miles on the odometer. 73,000 miles. Are you serious? Somebody jacked it, didn't they? Somebody, uh, I think somebody stole it or tried to... They did something, because this is all jacked up, too. Looks like it'll start, but you can't, uh, you can't turn it off. It's going to need an ignition switch. That's why it's an insurance car. She was, she was stolen. And then, to get in, good luck. You got to do that and uh you know just climb through right there you got your seats in the back good headliner should be a 5.7 i believe i think it's a 5.7 back in these days kind of hard to to get up here it's sitting right on top of another car but let's see let's see what we got good old vortec 5.7 liter 70,000. this thing's got a whole life ahead of it guys uh, this thing has a whole life ahead of it this is crazy i'm gonna pull this up on the website real quick I'm going to see when this is selling and uh, maybe even find out how much this is going for. Well, it looks like we got power. We got lights. This thing ought to sound pretty good with that dual exhaust. Other than needing a, a paint job, an ignition, a set of tires. Yeah, turn signal is on. No, it's not. What? Ha oh, someone shoved. It needs a hazard switch as well. Uh-oh. Well, it ran. Didn't stay running. I'll bet the, uh, I'll bet the theft deterrent system has been triggered on this, so it'll probably start and shut right off. Is there a theft deterrent? Yes, there is. The security light is on, so this is going to run, and it's going to immediately die. And we could do this all day. Oh, it did turn off. It did. Yeah, so that's all it's going to do. It will start and it will shut off immediately, so you don't get to test the transmission or anything 
on this one, guys. That's a shame. Um, so you're going to need a key, maybe a whole ignition for this. I don't know, depending on what kind of damage has been done. But this is supposed to have a, uh, a chipped key. This is just uh, kind of like a valet key, I guess. I don't know what good that does you, but I put it on the watch list. Uh, nothing we can do with it here right now. We know it starts. We know it runs. It sounded decent for the, you know, one second that it runs for. Um, this is one I'm interested in. So I've got it on the watch list, guys. We'll see what happens. All right, moving on. Yes, there's a, Je a Jeep Grand Cherokee Freedom Edition right here. This thing looks crazy. Uh, also, a little bit of damage. Okay, there's a lot of damage. Like I said, guys, the last aisle, and I'll be honest with you, I don't have anything to drink. I didn't think it was going to be this hot today. I'm not used to this. I guess it's, it's summertime, I suppose. It is, uh, it's crazy hot. And I am just dying of thirst here, man. I need to go get something to drink. We're about done anyway. Looks like there's a 2024 Mustang up there. I definitely want to check. Ah, well, there goes that one. Every, it never fails. Every time I find something that I want to look at, it's usually just completely destroyed. Oh, wow. Okay, someone drew on the hood with a nail. That's nice. That's the kids. Kids wanted to draw daddy a picture. Those would be some uh, retroactively aborted children. <laughs> Can we say it that way? And then, oh, here we go. Here we go with the, the stupid grills again. Anyway, how about this, though? Oh, of course. Yep. Completely obliterated on the driver's side. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good-looking car. Damn, man. It's a 19. I'm sorry. I thought this was like a newer one. I thought the front end looked like the newer generation. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Audi crunched in the back. Oh, man. I was saying earlier, no Civics for Nick. We're going to avoid Honda Civics. I'll be damned. What did I run into? What, what, what did I run into? Oh. But it's a coupe. It's a two-door. Needs a fender, needs a bumper, needs a headlight, needs a wheel, needs a tire, needs a hubcap, uh, needs window tint. A DX base model. Lots of dings and dents, cracked bumper. This thing's in rough shape, guys. It is. It's in, uh, is it at least a manual? No, no, it's an automatic. Um, he just lost points for that right there. Mileage, 343,000. No way, yeah, 343, and the hood does not open. The hood, uh, the hood latch is broken too, so we can't even, we can't even look at it. Wow, 340, that's a Honda for you. Yeah, hood is closed. Okay, 300, I'm just, I'm blown away by that, guys. I mean, yeah, the car is in kind of rough shape, but think about most cars with 340,000 miles on them. Uh, that car looks pretty damn good. That's impressive. Another wrecked Mustang. Well, everything over here is just... It's just wrecked. Lexus 350. No, I'm not. Another Hyundai Elantra. Uh-oh. I don't feel like walking around it, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk over it. Guys, another Elantra. I've been running into so many Elantras out here lately. I think. Oh! Hold up, what is this? I mean, I know it's an Alfa Romeo, I just don't know what it is. Uh, I've never seen the SUV version of whatever this is. Door, door, but the quarter is good. Oh, and it's in the shade. Yes, thank you. This, there is C pillar damage. There may be A pillar damage. You got fender, door, door. If the quarter panel is good. The problem is, is the dog leg over here got pushed in pretty good. Now, with that said, there is, you could pull a lot of this out and put that fender flare back on. You'd never see it. You'd never see it. I guarantee you, you could pull most of this out yourself. This is a Stelvio. Did I say it right? Q4. So Q4, I'm assuming, means all-wheel drive. It actually looks it, it looks pretty good, guys. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm sold. I'm sold. I want this for me. I like this. I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the Alfa Romeo. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I like this one. I like this one a lot. What year is this? Uh, 2018. It's a TI, whatever that means. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Really? Is it that damaged that the door doesn't, uh, the door doesn't work? 
and I'm not going to untape it, obviously. <sighs> does it have power? That's my next question is, does it have power? Is that mouse poop in the seats? Err. All right, well, somebody's been climbing over the seat. There's scuffs all over it. I don't see any lights on in here. I don't even know how to start this thing. I mean, there's the key, but where's the push to start? No? How does, uh, it looks like a GM key. Oh, wait, it's got power. It's got 92,000 miles on it. This might actually go for a reasonable amount of money, like something I could afford. The problem is I can't, I can't, I don't see how you start it. Let's do this. Let's close the door. Let's lock it like a GM. Remote start. Oh, the door's open. Yeah, the driver's door doesn't close, so that doesn't work. <laughs> All I got to do, oh, it's right here. It's right here. So what I got to put my foot on the, okay. All right, so to do this, I'm gonna have to scoot this seat way back. Then I got to put my foot over this inner console onto the brakes. Look at the size of these paddle shifters. Good God. Is this thing really that bad? Like, is it, is it that mean? I want to pop the hood. says the hood is popped. I gotta put my leg over here onto the brakes. Oh, that's a good song. Ha 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 ha. Got to see ZZ Top in concert not too long ago. That was nice. Nope. Golly, this is ha 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 ha. Uh. All right, let's auto. Crank it up, crank it way up. There we go, let's get some air going. Let's pop that hood. First thing I gotta do is I gotta make sure the, uh, I gotta make sure the air conditioning works. Absolute necessity. Almost 100,000 miles. How much could this thing really be worth? That's what I wanna know. What is this, a little four cylinder? Is it an Ecotec? gross let me just walk away from that for a minute so it looks like the engine has been out a time or two I would say it looks like a little four banger yeah, a little turbocharger right there over to the air intake exhaust on this side it's low on coolant it's got water pouring out from the hood all the things you want to see right oh, I wish we could get a better view of what's going on on that uh on that driver's side b pillar um this is interesting the mileage is flashing why is the mileage flashing is that like telling you that something's off with the mileage that that's not accurate like somebody changed the mileage huh interesting well Guys, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna enjoy this air conditioning for a minute. And I think we're gonna probably conclude this video. Oh, who am I kidding, man? I'm gonna sit here in this air conditioning for a minute and we're gonna end the video now. I am dead hot and tired, man. I'm just, I'm ready to go. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.